simply learn. Your pace, your place. Module 2B, Part 2, Using Excel Built-in Functions Introduction Hello and welcome to the lesson on using Excel built-in functions of the Financial Modeling course by Simply Learn. This lesson continues with our financial modeling, but now we have established how to manipulate our data, we will move on to more complex Excel built-in functions for analyzing our data. Now, let's move on to our agenda. Agenda. In this section, we will be making use of Excel statistical functions such as mean and standard deviation calculations. Statistical analysis provides an understanding of our data. Using statistics, we can determine an average value, a variation of the data from this average, a range of data values, and subsequently show how these can be used for option pricing and other interesting applications. Many investment products and financial assets have different terms, for example, when calculating the price of bonds, under a 30-day divided by month, we will need to use some Excel day counting functions. We will show you how to do this later. Lastly, we will show how to manage text data in spreadsheets. With the large tables of data that are needed in financial models, text strings can be an issue. We may need to look up on a certain value within a text string. To do this, we can break the string down, extract text or combine text. Now let's get started with this section. Statistical functions. In mathematics and statistics, the mean is another name for the average. The mean is calculated by adding all of the values together, then dividing by the number of original values. In Excel, the average function will automatically calculate a mean for a given data set. If we look at our Excel worksheet, we have a list of assets in a fund and their return to date using the average function equals average open brackets range or range underscore name close brackets. We can calculate the mean return for the fund as a whole. Another important value, standard deviation, is the square root of the variance which measures the difference between the mean of the data set and the individual values. The parameter for this function is also just the range of data for which we are calculating the standard deviation. Equals STDEV open brackets range or range underscore name close brackets. Standard deviation is applied to the annual rate of return of an investment to measure the investment volatility. The higher the